Hey Steve, I'm reporting in because I know a while back I told you I would be building myself a new computer. Last week I ordered the parts and due to New Year's they were late shipping, but I got them today. I'm uh, currently going through, getting everything out of its packaging, and I will be putting it all together on video. Uh, thus far we've got uh, power supply, CPU cooler, CPU, some random cables, um, motherboard, RAM, and under that the graphics card, more cables, all the instructions I've got to go through to mount that onto that, which should be fun, but um, I will let you know once all this comes together. I've got the case laid down. Um, this is a monstrous full-sized case. I had it apart yesterday, looking at all it could do. Uh, there's quite a bit of space to work in. The first uh, thing I'm going to do is pop these screws. And then pop the case. It's got a big window on the side. I'm going to use that to peer into the beauty once it's finished. But uh, I'm going to mount the motherboard next. This afternoon's D&D &D plans were cancelled. Make some space on the table for this shenanigans. Okay, so these are all the screws that came with the case. There are tons of them. The guide goes through each kind, and I've come to find, through a little bit of research, that these are my motherboard mounting screws. I've removed the motherboard from its static enclosed case and placed it where it needs to go. There are tiny little screws already screwed into the case. Some cases don't already have those, but they include them and you can screw them in as needed into these pre-drilled holes. Um, I've popped it in where it needs to go, time to screw them in. The folly of every build. You put this on the back of the case and you see that something is missing. It needs its face plate, but the plate doesn't go in from the outside, it goes in from the inside. So, I'll have to move the board out slightly. You may not be able to do that with the camera in hand. Or I can. Pop that bad boy in. It's in place now. Stupid thing wouldn't go in. It'll look like that. Blank. And now you'll see I've got all these tiny little screws. You'll see I've got all these tiny screws in place. Now they are securing the motherboard in. Ain't going anywhere now. Everything lines up in the back. Everything is nice and pretty and beautiful. Now we'll move on to something simpler. I lied. I'm wiring the case electronics to the motherboard. It's an unusual first step, but I'm going to do that. Um, after that, we'll pop in the power supply, wire it to the motherboard. <sighs> fun, fun, fun. This is my least favorite part. I've gone through that instruction guide and that instruction guide, and I came across that power info. That should be exactly what I need. If it's not, I will be taking it all out again and putting it back together in a different configuration. For now, I'm leaving it there. We'll see how that goes. Systems with less power only need this little guy. But systems with more power need the additional power. 24 port. It took me three hands to get that thing together and in there. 
Don't ask me where I got the third hand. Now that I've got the side case off, I also cleaned up that USB 3 cable here. Now it's shorter. There is one part that I had uh, forgot to mention that I got because I ordered it over a month ago. It was on really good sale. Now uh, it's the solid state hard drive. It has its own mounting points in the back and I've been reminded of them while I was making a mess of these cables. I'm going to just go ahead and mount that right in here and then drop it in the panel. Very self-explanatory. Four screws slides into place. Thumb screw into the case. Hard drive is secured. Now all it needs is power and data. SATA cable going into the solid state hard drive if I can manage to find that spot. That was the tightest fitting cable I've ever seen in my life. I had to unmount the drive and plug it in with both hands. These are the RAM sticks that I ordered and my roommate built a computer a few months ago and got some free RAM with his motherboard and it just happens to be similar if not the same brand. Uh, slightly different stats on those. Well, slightly different stats on those but not too big a deal for me. Um, gonna install that there. I've placed the processor in into its slot and the idea is that you put this cover down over it and then slowly pull this lever down and swap hands so I can do this most properly. Um, it's supposed to go slowly down and this is the part where I feel like I'm breaking it. The cover is supposed to pop off and it did. Popped off and got in my way. So there it is. CPU is socketed in there. <sighs> now the worst part is putting that uh, heat sink together. Let's see how that goes. It continues to astound me. I managed to seat the processor and I'm installing the mounting hardware, these uh, silver brackets and it required me to get uh, on the other side of the motherboard to install it. Uh, there's a big plate on the other side since the motherboard doesn't come with any uh, mounting plates because th this model they just decided not to do that. Uh, this entire generation of processors I suppose I should say. Uh, these Haswell processors they did not do that so um, it's mostly together. Now all I have to do is uh, apply the thermal paste right there and then mount this bad boy. We're nearing completion hopefully. Get you soon. Much like transforming into a Super Saiyan, the only way to properly install the Noctua NHD14 CPU cooling system on a Haswell i7 processor is to get super pissed off and start swearing because the threads of the screws won't catch. Only when you get super pissed off will they do it. I installed all the hard drive data cables here. Um, there's two more slots for them. I'm going to see if I uh, want to put the extra cables in now or bother with that another time. I've threaded one to the back and plugged in the uh, the uh, solid state hard drive, as you can see back there. But um, it's time to put this bad boy, the graphics card, into that slot. I mounted it in the highest port. I'm hoping I don't regret that. Um, crossfire bridge is not needed. This is if I was going to use two cards. I'm going to take those covers off. They're a bit tight. I'm going to power this graphics card with these cables and then uh, we'll see what happens. And this side is absolutely beautiful. I will cable manage and add my old hard drives 
once I've installed Windows and given it a chance to confirm that everything is working. Until then, I am a completely broken man, and I am ready to just kick back and use a computer. Hopefully I won't have to take the whole thing apart again, but this time I know what I'm doing, so it shouldn't be so bad if I do. <sighs> My first time turning it on didn't work, so I went in as I thought I would have to and adjusted these little pins. Get my light adjusted my pins down there and tried it again and it worked so it's working the BIOS does this cool little number thing I'm not sure what that is yet lights on the graphics card all my fans are actually spinning which you may be able to see better on the video than even in person which is cool um, yeah, even that one is spinning so I got all this mess to clean up, but after giving it a test, I've got it booting. That's exciting. Oh, I didn't hit it quick enough. Boots pretty quick, considering. Yeah, there we go. You can see all my system info here. Peripherals, it's got all the stuff that I have in here. Hard drives. It's just exciting. So, from here I'll install Windows and get going on confirming that all the hardware is good. Um, thing I was most worried about, temperature looking awesome that is really cold um, once I get doing something maybe that'll change uh, my only concern is this uh, frequency the memory's frequency is uh, lower than it is on the packaging it was supposed to be 1600 I'm running at 1330 which is a step down I'll try to fix that but a lot of people who build computers um, find God during this process, so I'm just glad it all worked out. <laughs> hey Steve, it's me from several months after I filmed the initial building of this uh, computer. Uh, everything went great. A um, few timing issues with the RAM, some instability uh, once Windows was installed, but all the extra drives went in just fine. Uh, graphics card still chugging along. Um, this was a Radeon 280R9. Uh, I'm not impressed by the card. I don't know if it's defective, but not impressed at all. Um, everything is looking good. I never did clean those wires up because I'm not a cable management guy. Ask Nick sometime about what his computer looks like. I built it four years ago. Um, that CPU cooler allowed me to overclock the processor to 4.2 gigahertz, uh, which is way more than I had anticipated, and I could get it even higher, but why bother? Uh, everything is working great. No complaints. I'll catch you later, Steve.